can we please say congratulations on behalf of the Labor Party, Jim Chalmers, Albo, etc. Congratulations and thanks to Gina Reinhardt yes. and yes. the mining yes. industry and the coal <laughs> industry because if Jim Chalmers brings down a surplus uh, this week in this week's budget, it will be entirely because of Gina Reinhardt and the mining industry. Here, that here. is what here, we here. in Australia live on. And the joke here is, as Rita was saying, the coalition must realise that net zero would destroy the very mining industry that, pe that we all survive on and that Jim Chalmers is using to pay for everything the left want to do. So a big call out to Gina Reinhart and the mining industry, but realise, understand, Liberals, that you have to abolish net zero because you are working against, as Rita was saying, everything you are going to be fighting for over the next decade is predicated around the disaster that net zero is and will be. Well, so Rowan, wake up. We are seeing this already in New South Wales, where this week or last week in, in this incredible act of self-harm, they allowed the Araring coal-fired power station to go. shut down. At the same time, it comes out that the Snowy Hydro 2.0 project <laughs> is now years and years and years behind and schedule. And, 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 and But put never. aside the billions, you know, the billions almost don't matter if you've got this huge shortfall, this huge gap that's going to be between the power you thought was going to come online and the power you've taken offline. You know, and I'm this just... is where, and this, and you had this former CEO of Snowy, John Broad, I think his name Paul, is. Uh, we've got the clip. Let's yeah, have a let's listen, have to listen to Paul this. Broad talking to Paul Ben Broad. Fordham on, the, on 2GB. Great interview. We've got a clip here where Paul Broad was the CEO of Snowy 2.0, the great white elephant that Malcolm Turnbull introduced, which we said at the time was a disaster. Well, Paul Broad, the CEO who was punted, basically, by Chris Bowen, has come out and is now admitting, yes, it's a disaster. Have a listen to Paul Broad on 2GB talking to Ben Fordham. The notion that you can have 80% renewable in our system by 2030 is to use the vernacular. To use the vernacular? Yes. Hmm. You can't, Ben. I mean, the truth is we need this transition. If it ever occurs, uh, it will take 80 years, not eight. No. It will take 80 years if we're to do a transition to net zero. Peter Dutton, listen to that. Get Paul Broad to talk to the party room and let's start fighting the Liberals and the Coalition start fighting against net zero, <laughs> which you should have done all along. I I am sure our great-grandchildren, maybe even our grandchildren, will look back at this period and go, so you had a country sitting on all these natural resources, just yep. uh, <laughs> hundreds of years of, of supply, and you decided your source of energy was to be sending water uphill. <laughs> pushing water pushing uphill. Pushing water uphill, uphill yes. Spending billions of years and then uh, having the water come downhill... <laughs> At required periods, that's how you decided to uh, manage your energy market. I mean, people are going to look back and think we were all insane. Let's the record show there were a few of us. Yes, yeah, said no, the stop but, but, the insanity. But there is no. something too. It's like you know, Paul Broad there talking about 2030. And this is the thing, you know, it really does start to get. It's it it feels almost sort of like Stalinist five year plans. Here, you know, yes. we yeah. will cut the emissions 43 percent by 2030. You know, it is. Magical thinking. There's a no way this is going to happen. No, so there's not. going to be a huge amount of money figuring out how to figure out that, that we lie our way to that. Um, you see this with everything. You see this with the whole push to take away, you know, internal combustion engines, drive that out of business, and get yes, everybody stoves. driving yeah. uh, EVs. So we'll have yes. heat pumps, heat pumps, heat did pumps. I, did oh, anyone yeah. mention heat pumps? <laughs> Hello, oh, Kevin. that rings a bell. Hi, Kevin. <laughs>